Hello everybody, Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 4 new and improved privacy features of Android 12. Now, I will be demonstrating these features on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, but every smartphone running Android 12 should have all of these features. And as always, the wallpaper download link is in the video's description. Okay, so let's start. So, do you guys ever get paranoid and wonder if an application on your smartphone is secretly spying on you by turning on the phone's camera or the microphone? Do you? Because I do. Well, on Android 12, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So what happens is, whenever you open an application that uses the phone's camera or the microphone, for example, Snapchat uses both, the phone will throw up a little indication over here telling us that, hey, the camera or the microphone is in use. And if I quit Snapchat, that indication will turn off. So now the camera is not in use. You will also see the same indication whenever you use an application that uses the phone's microphone. For example, if you send an audio note through WhatsApp, you will see the exact same indication. So now that the microphone is in use, the phone is throwing up an indication and letting us know that, hey, the microphone is in use. And if I let go, that indication goes away. So this is such a powerful privacy feature. It will always let you know whenever an application on your smartphone is using the camera or the microphone. Another new privacy feature of Android 12 is that now you can block all of the applications from accessing the phone's camera and the microphone. To enable this feature, drop down the notification panel, go to settings, scroll down to privacy, and then disable camera access and the microphone access from over here. So this will block every application that is installed on the phone from accessing the phone's camera or the microphone. So as you can see, the camera application is just seeing a black screen. Now, I know everyone is screaming at me right now and saying, hey, Uncle Charlie, you can always disable an application's camera and the microphone access from over here. And this will prevent the applications from accessing the camera and the microphone, right? Well, here's the thing. If you disable the camera and the microphone access from over here, some of the applications will outright stop working. So as you can see, I have denied the camera and the microphone permission for Snapchat and it will just refuse to start. But on Android 12, if you disable the camera and the microphone access, you will still be able to use applications like Snapchat. So it's like the camera is there, but it is outputting a black image. And this allows you to use Snapchat normally. You can even take snaps and send them to your friends. So there you go. With this feature, you can use applications that mandatorily requires camera access, such as Snapchat. Just tap on cancel and you can use them normally. And the same concept applies to the microphone. If you have disabled the microphone access, it will not be able to record anything. The apps will know that the microphone is there, but in reality, it will not be able to record anything. So it will just be a blank recording. So I'm gonna play it back. So yeah, no sound. The previous recording had a sound. So yeah, that's how the new permissions manager works. By the way, you can add a shortcut in the drop down notification panel, tap on the plus icon and drag and drop the camera access and the microphone access icons over here. To re-enable, just tap on these and now all of the applications will have access to the camera and the microphone normally. So now let's go into the location settings and let me show you a new feature. So drop down the notification panel, tap on the gear icon, scroll down to location, then tap on app permissions. And from over here, you can tap on an application name to allow or deny the location access. Now, a new feature has been added which says use precise location. If you disable this, the app will not be able to access your precise location Instead, it will only be able to access your approximate location. And it says right over here, when precise location is off, apps can access your approximate location. And this feature is very useful for applications that do not work without the location permission. So if you don't want the application to see your exact location, you can always disable this feature inside the location settings. And once again, this is a new feature because the previous version of Android does not have the use precise location toggle. 
And lastly, inside the phone's settings, if you scroll down and tap on privacy, you will see this new box which says permissions used in the last 24 hours. So this shows you which applications have been used in the phone's camera, microphone, location and so on so forth. And you can tap, for example, let's tap on camera and it will show you how many applications and for how long they have been using the phone's camera. So this is another fantastic privacy feature that has been added to Android 12. Alright, so I guess that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching these kind of videos. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.